It was just another day in Kamurocho. Previously, After on the Kaito the local Files. Incident, Kaito is approached by Kyoya Sadamoto, who asks him to search for his late wife. Ah, Mikiko. I love that Higashi is actually given the recap. Mikiko was Kaito's old flame, who parted ways with him long ago. Kaito turns Sadamoto down before any past wounds can reopen. But he soon finds himself face to face with Sadamoto's son, June. That's when June tells him the unthinkable. That Kaito might be his real father. Like father, like son. Who oh boy. Sixteen years ago. Back in the day, the Matsugane family was on real bad terms with a rival. Like waiting for all-out war to kick off bad. One day, I got a call from the office saying they need me right away. So of course I hauled ass over. Hey! What's the situation? Some lady busted in here. It seems like she means business. Huh? You called me over some lady? Not just any lady. A real hellcat. Says she ain't leaving till the boss gets back. Look. I'm not messing around! Oh, for the love of God, it hurts! Let go of me, you crazy bitch! God! Listen up! You lay a finger on Maho, I'll snap his arm clean off! Is that her? Oh my god, it is. Uh, hey, sis! This is bad! It's real bad! Hey! What the hell? Am I seeing this right? Why is Hoda getting his ass wet? I take it this gorilla is your muscle? You gonna try me or beat your chest? You're the one calling me a gorilla? Guys, what the fuck happened? It all started with the girl on the floor. She racked up quite a bill at one of our host clubs, but when the check came, she couldn't settle. We were gonna have to work it off at a cabaret club, but... This chick busted it and went fucking ballistic. What? Wait. How exactly is any of this our fault? You tell me, man. I wash my hands of it. You're running a cabaret club starting next month. You deal with this shit. Oh, come on. Hey, hold up. Let's hear your side. She barged in here out of nowhere and came straight at me. Out of nowhere, my ass. I had to do something. For real? You two have to get your story straight. <laughs> okay, I gotta figure out how to get to the bottom of this shit. Just what the hell happened? Those dopes are too worked up to give me any good answers. And I should look around the room for clues. Is this it? Say, so now I'm getting a good look at her. What are you staring at? Just wishing I could have met a foxy lady like you outside of here. What? Tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna take you to the finest bar in town. And we can hash this all out over drinks. Oh, and I've got just the place in mind. It's real cozy. Just try hitting on me again. Whoa, sorry. What have we here? Hey, hold up. What'd you do to end up like that? Fuck, I don't know. She just burst in the office and told us to give her her sister. Hang on. So her sister was already here? Yeah. She was supposed to start working at one of our cabaret clubs. But this one busted in the door. She was already demanding to see the boss. When I said he wasn't here, she yelled at us to call him and let her wait in his office. Obviously talking to you assholes won't get me anywhere. This lady's got some real guts. <gasps> and she is pissed. Very impressed with pulling a judo move on Yakuza like that, Take though. Another step, and his arm goes snap like a twig. Find 
out if I'm lying. No, 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 I hear you. Let's try and simmer down a bit, shall we? <sighs> this right here. Hey, what happened here? Uh, well, it happened so fast. I it don't know. happened so fast. As soon as I came in here, this was happening. How does nobody know what happened? Was it nap time in the office or something? Fine. Guess I'll have to take a look around and make the call myself. What have we here? Buzz on the girl's shirt got messed up. I know Hoda well enough to imagine he grabbed her collar and yelled at her face to shake her up. <sighs> so, you're this madwoman's sister, right? Please don't kill me! Whoa, no one's killing anybody here. Uh, uh, uh. Speak for yourself, asshole! You leave my sister alone! Uh, this is such a shit show. This right here. Hmm? What's this paper? Huh? Resume. Must be that woman's. Because her name's Mikio Natsume. That's the thing. But what's this thing doing here, though? Was she on her way to interview or something? Let's see. Hmm. <sighs> this right here. What's with this box? Can't tell what's inside unless I open it. Well, I can't just go open up random shit. Looking ain't enough. Maybe I ought to try using another sense. Is this it? Smells sweet red beans coming from the box. Probably Yo o Yokon from Takemitsu. This wasn't here this morning. This won't bring them. All right. I see what's going on here, Mikiko Natsume. I figured a gal wouldn't bust in here without reason. If anything, you and your sister are the victims. Well, here and now, not for the host club stuff. Huh? I'm saying these jerk offs never learn their hospitality. I'd like to apologize for the rough reception. Okay, what's your angle here? I know you didn't come here just to drag your sister off and leave her dead unpaid. At the very least, I'm sure snapping off limbs wasn't your first intention. You see this? The resume. This is your own resume. What about it? Uh, well, it proves the whole point of why you came down to our office. First things first. These guys need to grasp a basic fact. You only came here to talk, not pick a fight with the Yakuza. Quit going in circles and get to the point already! <laughs> Of a woman she is. Oh wait, that wasn't the right one. Oh, this You're thing. The one who brought those sweets, right? <laughs> that alone tells me breaking Hoda's arm wasn't your plan A. Well, well. Guess you're the smartest ape of the bunch. So what? Well, I can also tell how your negotiations broke down. The evidence is right here in front of me. your sister. Look how her top got messed up. Even though you kicked things off polite, it seems Hoda got hands-on at some point. Which explains why you got him crying uncle in his own office. <laughs> Not bad for a Yakuza. 
Are you sure you're not a detective in disguise? <laughs> <laughs> if they ever kick me out, I may just consider it. But Bullshit. listen, Miko san. You have to admit, your sister is partly responsible. If you're gonna play, you gotta pay. It's just basic business, you see. I know how business works, and I never said we wouldn't pay you back. Okay, then what's the issue? The issue is, Maho's enrolled in college back home. If she ends up stuck as some hostess in Tokyo, she may as well kiss her education goodbye. I just want to see her graduate, find a career, and live a happy life. Can't your parents loan you the cash to get her out of this? No way! They'd freak if they knew I went to host clubs, let alone got into debt over one! Well, that part's all on you. Look, I get it with you people. Three million yen is a lot. I actually came to discuss repayment. But then this douchebag grabs my sister like some barbarian! God, uh, I only did it because your sister got shitty with me! Then, Mikiko-san, what's your real plan here? You got a lead on three mil somehow? Well, I work in Shinjuku. Just a desk job during the day. My nights are pretty much free. And in college, I worked as a server. I even got employee of the month a few times. No, I know I've never been a hostess. But it can't be that different. At the very least, I'm a lot more qualified than my sister. True that. Wait, are you saying... I'm saying I'll work for you instead. I'll even give you a start date. How's that for basic business? And that's how I met Mikiko. She was just so headstrong and full of personality. That tenacity of hers pushed her to the top in no time. Not to mention, she was a real ball buster. She'd take it upon herself to punish bad customers. And, since it was my job to look after her, I'd step in when things got ugly. Which happened a lot. So this Mikiko chick's covering for her sister. Not a bad plan. It's rare to see someone go that far, even for flesh and blood. Apparently, a car crash took their parents out when they were little. That was their only family. After that, they were lucky enough to get foster parents. It seems they're one big happy family now. Interesting. But is the boss gonna be cool with a swap? He says he doesn't see an issue. Long as we get paid. Fair enough. Just make sure she doesn't skip town and make it an issue, Anaki. <sighs> She won't be a problem. Rough as she is, her heart's in the right place. You were saying? Hey, what the hell was that for? You know the rules. No touching, no exceptions. Oh, come on. I am a paying customer. Who are you to tell me what to do? And who are you to feel up our staff? Nothing gives you that right. It's okay, Michiko. Really. Uh, let's just go inside. I'm handling it, Momoko-chan. <laughs> we kicking this chick to the curb or what? Yeah! Curb stomper if you have to! Call you back later, Yashi. Break time's over. Uh, uh, Anaki? <laughs> Mikiko! Huh? <laughs> oh my god, he's hot! Who's this fuck? I'm her bodyguard. If you want to get hands on tonight, Start with me. You heard that, boys? This fucking bastard! Take him down! Okay, asshole. Ob obnoxious drunks.
that seemed a little unfair. Down, right? <laughs> Yo, nice. Oh, property damage was one that I needed for those mission. Really sorry. I just couldn't let them get away with what they did. No problem. Your safety is my job. <laughs> then I guess I'm in good hands, Mr. Bodyguard. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't like Kaido with his hairstyle. I just don't. <laughs> oh, good. We're back to his regular hairstyle now. Yo, what's with your office? No guns, no family crest? This place is lame. Oh, for the last time, I'm out of that life. Uh, this the Yakuza is kind of like not thing anymore, now. kid. Did you not oh, yeah. play Lost Looks... Judgment? But damn, or it's grody in here. Like a dragon. You guys never clean up? Kid, just take a seat, will ya? My name's June, not Kid. Hey, I think it's the guy who voices Rindo thanks. does this. Something your pops forgot to take home. Huh. Weird. Uh, anyway, where are we at so far? Oh, yeah. You were saying you're my kid. You know, you could call me your son, since that's what I am and all. <sighs> Look, just tell me what you know, all right? About your mom. Your pops filled me in on some of the details. Said something about how she might even still be alive. Yeah, it always seemed off to me. I just can't imagine her taking her life. But the DNA test said it was her, right? Feels like the odds of a mistake are pretty low. <sighs> I think mom got caught up in some deep shit. Deep shit? As in... I don't know. But I think her suicide and the DNA test were faked. She's gotta be out there somewhere. As for why she can't get in touch, maybe she just can't. You sound like you thought this through. Any idea what happened? Uh, maybe something went wrong at work. Or she got kidnapped by some criminals. It doesn't sound all that convincing. But now that you mention it, your dad did say she might have been anxious on the job. What did she do for work? Oh, she ran a cafe. Her cafe. No kidding. Did she run it all by herself? Yeah, she was doing real good too. She knows how to handle people. That's for sure. Though with her personality, I can also see her making a few enemies. Well... She would have bad customers from time to time. There were also these people who tried to buy her out. But I can't think of anyone who'd want her dead, you know? Hmm. That doesn't seem to get as much of anywhere. So, you think you're my son? And it says this in your mom's diary? Yeah. She writes everything in that diary. This one she wrote 15 years ago, I think. It was right after the two of you broke up. What exactly did she write? Um, stuff like... I don't know if I should keep it. I'll never see Masaharu-san again. I should get this taken care of, though. Oh, hell of a thing for you to read. 
Honestly, I get how she must have felt. After all, the man she loved walked out of her life and into a life-or-death situation. How could she marry and have a kid when her husband could get killed at any moment? Yeah. Tragic, ain't it? Then she decided to listen to her parents and marry the guy we all thought was my dad instead. But at some point between your breakup and their marriage, she found out she was pregnant. That's probably why you never got word of it. Just given the timing, it's not impossible. Okay. Uh, for the sake of argument, let's say you are my kid. That means your dad got married knowing your mom was carrying another man's child? I guess so. Yeah. He's really the type who'd commit like that? Could be. Maybe he was just that into her. I mean, sure, but, uh... I think that's all about I want to ask right now. June, you said your name was. What kind of mom has Mikiko been to you? What kind of mom? I guess I'd say she's been pretty cool. She's been... cool? Yeah. Like, she would always lend a hand to someone in trouble. Even if it was some nasty flirt or a big hulking thug, she'd get right in his face and tell him off. A couple of times, she almost threw down right in front of us. Dad would freak out big time. <laughs> Sounds about right. Anyway, are you gonna help me find my mom or what? Remember, I am a professional here. That means I get paid to work. And I doubt you can afford my services. <laughs> oh, I think I've got that covered. <laughs> what? You gonna pay me in... Watches? <laughs> I swiped it when my dad wasn't looking. Hmm, sure is a nice piece of work. How much do one of these run? About 20 mil, give or take. Wait, how much? 20 million yen, man. Ha! <laughs> 20 mil for this? Fat chance. I've seen shit just like this a block over for only 30k. <laughs> you mean to tell me? Some idiot coughs up 20 mil to check the time? Never bullshit a bullshit kid. True, Don't true, true. Me. Look it up. The brand's right there. Okay. That's all about the brand. <laughs> Bet it's some knockoff. Damn thing's over 19 million! Is this some vintage collection? Nope, that's just the standard model. Dad's got a ton of them lying around, too. Unreal. How long would it take to earn that? <laughs> what was that about being a bullshitter? <sighs> so here's the deal, old man. I give you the watch, you go find my mom. What? Not good enough? It's not yours to give in the first place. Put it back where it belongs. You're really gonna say no because of that? Hey! Come on! Don't leave me hanging! I'm leaving to go find Mikiko. You coming? Oh, man. You can call me Kaito, not man. Ah, you got it, Kaito! I think this is Rindo's voice actor. I can't remember. I don't know. So it's like. Where do we start? Kamurocho's not exactly a small place. There was this one spot your mom used to go all the time Cafe Alps, it's called. Yeah. I remember. There she'd be. Sipping on coffee, reading a book. No noise from the city to bother her. Okay. And you think she might have went back there? Only one way to find out. So I'm actually quite curious if 
If there is any side cases, I don't think so. We going? We going? Okay, so Primal Eye is just basically his fucking investigation. Hmm. I'm actually quite cons uh, not concerned. I'm curious about something. Wisdom King's Talisman. Faster than lightning. Okay. Yuki and I used to drop in here all the time. Last time I was here, we were all celebrating together after Maho chan graduated college. Congrats, Maho chan. <laughs> Gotta admit, I was getting a little worried when you started hitting the host clubs again. <laughs> Sometimes a girl has cravings, you know? Oh, Lord. Sometimes this girl can be a headache. But even so. Nice work landing a job at a bank. Right out of college, too. Uh, it's just a desk job. Besides, it's my parents who know the board of directors and all. All I'm going to say is please be careful. You never know what kind of people you're dealing with. I don't know if you've noticed, but weirdos seem to flock to you like creepy pigeons. My guess is Remember the reason why she's doing what she's doing has something to do store? with her sister and this example. bank, maybe. Oh, yeah! Yeah. Next time some crazy guy bothers you, you tell me right away. Oh, sure. Like you'd rush all the way back home just for that. I would if I had to. See, this is why I don't tell you things. You never end up treating me like an adult. I mean, I get that you're worried about me, but you don't have to breathe down my neck all the time. Says the girl who went broke over some stupid host. How could I not worry about you? Why, just the other day, you were eating up some sleaze balls pyramid scheme. You said it nearly changed your life. Well, it felt right at the time, okay? Hey, a catch like you ought to be more careful. Take your sister, for example. She knows when to keep her guard up. <laughs> I guess I'll take your word for it, Kaito san. Wait, did you just imply Mikiko's a catch too? Huh? Uh, what I say? Oh shoot, I forgot they were waiting. I never said they had to be outside. I mean, they could at least come in and say hi, right? Ugh, so rude. <sighs> Sorry about them, Masaharu-san. Don't be. If I were your folks, I'd probably feel the same. Oh, don't say that. They just haven't seen what a good guy you are. I'm gonna have to give them a talking to. After all, I'm a modern-day Cupid. I brought you two together, didn't I? Now watch as I work my magic. <laughs> Good luck wearing them down. That was the last time I was here with Mikio. The last time I ever saw Maho-chan. I wonder how Macha's doing now. Maybe she has her own family at this point. No sign of mom. Guess that'd be too easy. Yeah, it never is. But for now, we ask around and see if anyone recognizes her. Why don't you ask him about his aunt? 
You won't get anywhere asking random people, especially if the search window's about a month. Stars, let's see if we can narrow it down. Find someone who might have seen her recently. Hey, you got yeah, a the owner or someone oh, here. What's up? Has this woman been by here recently? Mm, not that I remember. Are you sure? She would have been here in the past two weeks. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, last week I was out of town with my girl, so I really wouldn't know. Oh, yeah, you could always ask the manager. Is he around? I mean, shouldn't you know? Yeah. Oh, for sure. I just don't know where he is now. I did see him before. You know what? I'll go find him. Think back to ten days ago. What do you remember? You're a regular, aren't you? Uh, yeah, but I've been studying. I don't know who's around me. Still, you have to have noticed something. Just think back. There isn't anything to think back on. Yes, yeah, so I'll leave this guy to Jin. Huh. I'm guessing the guy's a Cafe Alps manager. Enjoying a little nap, huh? Yo, you got a sec? <laughs> hey! <sighs> How the hell does he sleep through that? Maybe I need to find a new approach. Time to break the back office. Like a feral beast, cow senses. Oh, uh, yeah, we've already done this. This right here. Hmm. No, oh, he's got headphones on. Still, he can hear anything going on with those. So I believe it's time we lose them. Oh, I want to do the megaphone first. Yeah, that'll do some good. Hey, get up! Oh, good. We get to use the megaphone. Yay! Wake up, goddammit! <laughs> no more food, Kim San. I'm stopping. No, not Kim. <laughs> Still not enough. I can't get any louder. And if I get rougher, I'll break something. <laughs> Is this it? Megaphone, what's this doing here? I wonder if I could use it somehow. Wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. Wake up! 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 Who might you be? Good morning to you too. I just had a quick question. Uh, okay. Uh, what is it? Finally, I can get somewhere with this guy. I'm Kaito, from the Yagami Detective Agency. I'm after a missing person. Uh, who's missing? This woman. She been around lately? I remember she was a regular here for the longest time. Uh, oh, this lady. You've seen her? Uh, not recently, but she certainly was a regular. Mikiko-san was her name. Good, so you know her. 
What else do you remember? Uh, actually, a lot. She stood up for me on multiple occasions. <laughs> I'm sure you know the types we get around here. <laughs> if anyone started making trouble around her, she'd march over and walk them right out. <laughs> yeah, she was a pistol, all right. Oh, and you! You and her were together, weren't you? That's right. You two had your favorite spot by the window. Hey! I told you, put it out! What now? Can't you see there's a baby in here, moron? Now either put that shit out or go smoke outside! Pipe down before I bust your face, kid! Hey, this is not one of Mikio's moves. Lego, damn it! Hey, teach this little shit a lesson. Of course. Hey, I'm his guardian. You got a problem with the kid? You talk to me. I guess it's not talking you want. Aniki, you hear this dipshit? Oh, I've heard enough. Let's put the fear of the Aragaki brothers in him. So what now? Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Oh, right. I was trying to grab him. I was like, why didn't I move? Because I was trying to grab him. There we go. All better. And stay down. your head sometimes not everyone's gonna go down from an arm lock yeah read you loud and clear although your technique was spot on where'd you pick that one up oh mom taught me that a while back so that was the mikiko special yeah she knew all kinds of stuff kickboxing self-defense you name it mom was badass reminds me of a story your mom once told me some little shitheads were picking on your aunt, right? But instead of telling the teacher, she trained herself at a dojo till she could take him down herself. Guess you two had something in common. You both kick ass. Boom! Pa! You fire off punches like a rocket launcher. You seriously gotta teach me how you do that. <laughs> Why? So you can pick even more fights? Self-defense is all a kid like you needs. Ah, <sighs> weak. Thank you so much for what you did. As I was saying earlier, guys like them always come around making trouble. Yeah. Glad I could help clean up. Shall we continue our discussion? Right, right. Damn punks made me lose focus. So, can you tell me anything about Mikiko? Sure. I'd say this happened, oh, about ten days ago. A woman came in and ordered coffee. She was seated by the window, too. At the time, I thought she looked familiar, but I wasn't 100% sure. But when you showed me that picture of Mikiko, I immediately thought or of that customer. whoever that is, it's was actually it not Mikio, but it's her well, sister. I can't say for certain. 
she wore sunglasses, so it may have been someone else. Anamoto son said the woman who looked like Mikio got spotted about a month ago. And this one was ten days ago. Could they be one of the same? Got it. Are there any other details you remember? Hmm. What else? Oh, this one's about Mikiko-san herself. I remember she used to bring a friend fairly often. Maybe she might know something more. I believe she knew this friend from a cabaret club. Oh, you don't mean Momoko-chan. Oh, was that the friend that she helped her out? Yeah. Momoko-chan, that's the one. I haven't seen her in a few years, but she might still be around. Last time I heard, she was running a bar in the Champion District. Yeah, Momoko's. I used to pop in there sometimes. Nice! Then I guess we know where we're headed. Thanks for all your help today, boss man. Oh no, this was the least I could do. Please, come back again. Yeah, I know. Oh, we going? So how am I on my skills here? Like, So, property damage, who's next? Property damage and aerial supremacy. I might just have to go look up, like, where the fuck. Hit by a tank. I could still get one. Oh yeah, it's only like oh yeah, a thousand. I might as well pick it up. Oh, is there something here? No, yo, you got food on yeah. you? Got some for you too. Sweet. Don't mind if I do. I might have said that. Hmm. Yes. 
Ichiban rice cakes. Nice. I think get a good amount of SP. So I feel like that's how you get majority of your SP is by doing all this random stuff since there's nothing else for you to do. Like there's no side content or anything like that. And what's the point of these uh speech bubbles here? Like what's the point of the rumor stuff? stuff okay hey, Oh, I, okay. I gotta kill them. Okay, who's next is killing three enemies within time. Okay. That one's probably gonna take a while. Something stinks. What have we here? Okay, so they just pop up on the map randomly. Okay. You just can go around exploring and you'll just run to like, oh, gotta do something. You like go inside Millennium Tower? Uh, you won't help me in fights? Ass sparks. So wait. What? Uh, huh? Maybe that's what it is. Is like those areas will just pop up. Swordsman's Techniques Part 2. The skill, extra firepower, do or die has been unlocked. Okay, so yeah, that's what it is. That's how you find those. Okay, that's not so bad. I was a little scared. I was like, oh, I'll have to look it up. Increased damage, attack damage while at low health. Okay. at least comment on that. <laughs> I 
Where's it coming from? There's the stank. This right here. And the Matsugani hmm. crest. What the fuck? Huh? This is the bill where Hamura held me hostage. Come think of it, Hamura forced another guy out of the family for me. I don't know how he's doing. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. I mean, I still might go around looking it up for some of these. Be like, oh, that's where you go. Or maybe that's what I just do for, like, a part or some such. Is like, let's go around the city for a bit. Go down every single street. Be like, oh. Then again, maybe I have to go through some story bits, too, first before I, uh... Damn, I didn't even realize what time, uh, how long I've been going for. Uh, YOLO. What? I don't know. <laughs> so, maybe what I could do is like, Maybe not in this part, but like maybe the next part I go and like, oh, let's just do all the streets down here for one part. And then the next part I take up everything else. So, I mean, I, I'm here right now. It doesn't seem to be too bad. I just hope there's none in buildings, you know? It's like, oh, you got to go inside a building to get them. Um, They just love showing off that Kaido cake. Dude, don't go off by yourself. Dude, don't go off by yourself. That's why I was kind of like, oh, Millennium Tower. Ditch me? What? No, of course not. Who would ever want to ditch you, buddy? Don't walk by yourself. 
I'm actually curious though. Why would I want a reason to come into Le March? Box, uh, darts, huh? Okay. I get some armor. Alright, let's just finish up this uh, alleyway, then we go back. Cats I found. Oh, I'm almost got that one. Oh, it's just the arrow one. Area on the property damage. Found seven cats so far, huh? only a set amount of things or if they randomly pop up too So the red ones always seem to be a Masagane family thing. Oh. So make sure I do a sweep around the office just to make sure. I can't believe I didn't notice that on the in the previous part where I was like, oh hey. There was like uh, stuff on the map. Where's that gonna put me? Do I have to go around and find all that shit again? I probably do, don't I? Yes, I do. Mother fucker! Alright, here's the cat that I was looking for. 
beforehand. Although I think I still need to go cover all this area again. Uh, I did that, but I think I gotta go back here. Can I even get into Little Asia? I don't think I can, but. Yeah, I need to find. Yeah, that, that cat was over there by the champion district, so going that way. That just makes that just makes me mad. This one. Huh? Yeah, I don't think I got that one. There was something to smell here. Oh, yeah, right, right. I did get this one. This it? Yeah, I did get that one cat. I don't remember. Pick that one up either. Oh no, this isn't the one I had. <gasps> the Matsugami family office. <laughs> Just remember a nickname my Anki had for me. Okay, so that I didn't I didn't get that one here. I can't remember where I got that one. I think it was further down. I think that's majority of the things. Um, there might be something I'm missing here and there. Uh, I did go around here. Yeah, I think I did everything over here. And you know what? I might as well just go finish up from this road from all the way there and then down here too. Oh, 
Don't go picking fights you can't win. Yeah, it was this one. This is where that other memory was. I believe I got everything. Uh, I don't think I... Yeah, I didn't go down this road. Oh yeah, this is where this the right golden here. plate was, right? And there it is. All right, let's just um, yeah, I'll just go down here, and then I'll go around this area and such. And I might even yeah, I might as well try uh, go through that back alley of Cafe Alps. Just get all that shit. I just hope there's like nothing. There'd be no reason to play with you, man. Uh, I just hope there's nothing like in the damn, um, um, Fucking! Why can't I think of it? I just hope there's nothing in buildings, you know. I'm gonna check it out right now. Oh, isn't I think that was the room where they did the um. The thing for uh, one of the side quests from the main game. Alright, I'm gonna assume there's nothing in buildings, which is great. I don't have to worry about that. That becomes a thing later on, but like, why? Come on! 
That's all you got? How am I doing health wise, by the way? Fuck yeah, fuck it, boost our attack too. Oh, I need to get this first. Okay. Okay. So I gotta find one more location, two more locations for... So I gotta find two locations for this. Two for this one. Go back to school. I need to see what that one is. Four. And all these are just pretty much buying cats. Oh yeah, I got this one too. I might as well buy that one as well. Let's just go to where we need to go now. Okay, I need to see back to school. I, I have no idea how to do an aerial attack. Perform a rappel. Uh, got a little workout in at least. Okay. Right, that one's gonna be go, a while, but I'm pretty sure I can get that. Now let's test it on these guys. That counts or pal. I can't hold R1 either, because that's what I've been doing. See if I got it. I don't think I did. I did not. That's all you got. It's all about food. You can't eat when your health is full. You can still enjoy alcohol at least until you reach your limit. Get to where we're supposed to be going. Am 
I guess going this way it actually be faster. by myself. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, good. Cutscene. Got saved by the cutscene. By the way, Kaito, I've been curious. How does one join the Yakuza anyway? Say what? Maybe I want to find me a family, so I thought I'd ask the expert. Is it just like they do in the movies, where you swear an oath to your boss over a cup of sake? Ju, please don't tell me you're serious. Yeah, and what if I am? Then you're even dumber than I thought. No kid should even think of wanting that. Movie. Also, the y Yakuza has well, been disbanded. Hello? Oh, really? Yeah, really. Okay. Then say goodbye to having your own bank account, or a place under your own name. Any Yakuza you see is probably dead broke. That's how bad the police have them now. Trust me when I tell you, give it up. Mm, not sure I buy all that. You've been out of the game for a while, right? How much wax do you have in those ears? Ha! <laughs> Found you, little bastard! I knew I'd track your skinny ass down. You a friend of yours? Who, this asshole? I caught him beating on a homeless guy, so I figured he needed a lesson in empathy. Didn't last long when I twisted his arm, though. You just love getting into shit, don't you? Listen up, shit stain. It's time I got some payback. What, you want round two? This time I'm breaking bones. And I'm chopping limbs. Get ready to bleed. <gasps> okay, so he hates Jim, seeing knives. Allow me. Oh. Hey, you with me? Uh, uh, what is also, the deal? yeah, good luck of chopping off limbs with a fucking puny fuck knife like that. Man, unless you want to get hurt. Let's just take his ass down already. This kid really knows how to choose him. Irrational thugs. Ju, you okay? Uh, wait, don't tell me I... Passed out again? Yeah, you sure did. You want to tell me what's up with yeah, that? Yeah, good luck trying to join the Yag... First of all, not only are the Yagza not a thing anymore... I just can't handle that shit. What shit? Knives, man. When I see one, my brain just shuts down. The hell? You got some sort of knife of phobia going on? Don't tell me you got stuck at some point. Not exactly. See, I was messing around with my dad's knife collection one day. Oh, lovely. And like a dad, he warned me never to touch them. But as a kid, of course, I was gonna. Okay. Well, as you can guess, my dad walked in on me. And man, was he pissed. Which naturally got me pissed, so I started talking back. That's when he put the knife to my arm. You saying he cut you? A little. Enough to draw blood, anyway. Ooh, lovely. You get it now, June? Knives were made to hurt. A person can die if they're not careful around them. 
Ooh, I don't like this I guy don't at all. Touching these ever again. Understand? I don't like that guy at all. Not only does he have a face I will kind of want to punch, but if you ask me, he took his lesson way too far. Yeah, no shit. I has no fucking clue how to be a dad. All he does is work himself sick in his office. Though he did apologize later, after he found out how bad he messed with me, said he was out of line. No kidding. Hey, you think the yakuza still take me even with the fear of knives? If you pass out the moment you see a blade, I don't think you'd last long either way. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Fainting on the job in that line of work's a death sentence. Besides, it's not like you can always swoop in and save the day. I gotta get over this bullshit. Well, you can save the pity party for later. We're out to find your mom, remember? Right. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm just gonna make a little save here just in case, like, the end of the story comes here. And uh, in case that does happen, I kind of just want to go at least grind out the... The... That way, huh? The extra stuff. Like, the, um... I want to grind out the... Oh, you need to beat, um... Or you need to get this, um... Bonus thing. Like, that, that's what I want to do. I want to grind those out at least. And naturally, since I, when I find this cat, I'll. Quiet now. Huh? Okay. There has to be something in here, right? I'll save again. I mean, I'll probably actually do it in the next part. Hey there, Momoko-chan. Uh, Kaito-san. Gosh, it's been ages. Oh, who is this young man? His son. The name's June. <gasps> really? Oh my goodness, Kaito-san. When did you... D don't listen to him. He's actually... Uh, it's kind of complicated. <gasps> so, Mikiko-chan might be alive? You're sure? Well, we're not, but... Apparently, a lady who looked just like her was spotted in town. I came here hoping you might know what that's about. After all, you two were pretty much inseparable. Before she disappeared, did she reach out to you at all? Hmm. I can't really say she did. All I remember is she never forgave herself for what happened to Maho-chan. Wait. What happened to Maho-chan? Yeah. No. You haven't heard? I think it was 13, 14 years ago. Anyway, it was tragic. Without even seeing it coming, Mao Chan passed away. It, you're kidding. Oh, not Mao Chan. How did it happen? Well, according to the reports, it was arson. Imagine your last moments being trapped in a fire. Ooh, arson. Oh, God. What 
What a way to go. Their foster parents died that night, too. Oh, God. Why these horrible things happen, I'll never know. Mikiko-chan took it especially hard. Of course she would. Her sister was really all she had left. <sighs> After that, Mikiko-chan changed. It's like all the sadness in her heart evaporated from that point on. She'd say things like she'd kill the bastard who did it. As if the only thing driving her was anger. Will they ever catch the guy who did it? They did. Apparently it was a stalker who'd been after Maho-chan a while. He hung himself immediately after. Bastard just did himself in, huh? But Mikiko really hated that. Yeah. Mikiko-chan got so depressed. <laughs> It was hard to watch. Not only did she lose her little sister, she lost the people who took her in. Even though they weren't flesh and blood, they may as well have been her real parents. And all that goes away in a night. Oh. <laughs> to someone she can't even hold responsible. <laughs> June, did you know this? Well, kinda. It happened right after I was born, though, so I never heard much details. Damn. You okay, Kaito? Yeah. I'm fine. Well, it happened like two years after that, like two, roughly two years. Right. Where else in town might mom have gone? <sighs> hey! What about your special spot? Have you checked there yet? Huh? What special spot? <laughs> Seriously? I'm talking about Kamuro Theater. And Mikiko-chan told me all about it way back when. Although, wasn't it called something else back then? Oh. Hey, uh, what was this special spot of theirs? Mm. It's where Kaito-san asked your mom to go steady. Whoa! For real? <laughs> mm-hmm. If I remember right, he took her to a movie and confessed at the downstairs cafe. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, the place has been remodeled since then. The cafe's not even there anymore. But isn't the place itself still important? Those memories will always be there. <sighs> I mean, maybe, but... Mikiko even go there after all these years? She might have if she came all the way back to Kamurocho. After all, she described it as one of the happiest times in her life. Huh. Did she really? Well, it's not like we have any other leads. Might be worth a shot to check. Yeah, I suppose we could. <laughs> 